All right, so we are at the point where we need to figure out what, babe? Contain the chickens. To contain our chickens. So we are thinking a few different ideas, really. Uh, but we want to uh, uh, sometimes trap them in our garden and sometimes keep them off the deck. Off the deck and out of the garden when stuff is growing. So we are. That's the plan today. That's what we're going to tackle. So stay tuned. How my thought, my question is, if we fence them in with the rabbits, then we have to access the run every time we want to take care of the rabbits. Yes. Is that what we want? I'm not sure. I, I think I'd be okay with that. The, the chickens typically want to be there, or if they are, hopefully the other way. <laughs> and where would we put their coop? Um, probably, yeah, probably over, over there. All right, so we have a few thoughts. The, we just got a structure that covered the garden. It was, what was it, babe? 14 by 22. 14 by 22. We have kids, so we have short-term memory loss. <laughs> um, and then we, if we have them, the structure come out to like our deck, covers the rabbits, and comes out quite this, this way. It was about 37 feet by 11. So those are a few numbers where thinking through. And what were you going to say? What if we move the rabbit hutches down into this shady spot of the bamboo and this tree? Because they'll get the shade from the tree mm -hmm. plus the shade from the bamboo here in the summer. So they'd be shaded better. And that would still, we would still fence in this area for okay. the chickens. Which is very important for rabbits to be to cool, especially in Arkansas, uh, where it gets very hot in the summer. Do we need to leave this here for the nope. We're fencing animals in that way. So how much of this, how much material do we have to use? Yeah, how far does it go? But you, you just want to use this section right here? Except it gets direct sun in the, uh, in the summer. It's going to make it evening. That's why that, that tree line over there, or that fence line, is good because you've got the neighbor's trees there that provide the shade plus the, the bamboo coming out of it. Hey, the other thing, if we did leave over here, we have the coop set up a certain way. When the sun came down, the coop would offer some shade too. Just, just as an idea. It would give them, it would give the chickens more room. But what about like we wouldn't have them in the rabbits? Which we kind of wanted. Oh, right. Well, we can still move the rabbits down this way. And why do we want them in with the rabbits? Because they scratch the poop and turn it into compost quicker. Okay, and off, offers food for the rabbit or for the chickens. Hashtag permaculture. That's the new home setting, right? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's talking about nothing permaculture today, but the things people do. Everyone's going around. I think we need to go with the netting. Your finger's stuck where? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we need a temporary fencing, not the structure even though it's nice because it has the covering on it already we need temporary like I said because we can run it we can utilize that fencing on that side and run them that way but we could also run them on this half of the yard too if these areas get overworked and we can let them we've got the wood fence here so that provides fencing we would just run the net this way and close them in on that half of the yard side of the yard that makes sense 
to figure out the pricing on that and the that netting. Metal. The metal cage. Because that would be easy to, to change too. We didn't just be moving T posts, which, we, which we're going to have to do with the netting as well. Yeah, okay. And this would probably hold up longer. There's a chicken right there. Hi, Clark. Hi. Put up a good fight with the rooster yesterday. You want me to you? Your bike's stuck! Alright, so what are we thinking? So instead of just going and buying new T posts, like utilizing what we have just and the bamboo, so you to pound the T posts far enough into the ground and then use a bamboo, cut it to about here and zip tie this, would that provide enough stability? I'm not, I'm not sure about this part here. But it would be using what we have. Right, and if it doesn't work, then we go by bigger t -posts. Off the charger. Zip ties, we have zip ties. There's plenty. So we actually, nice. So we actually just had either hawk or falcon come by uh, and the rooster alerted the hen so he's doing his job which is cool but definitely something to think through when you're creating a fence off area do you have a covering so no predators up above can't get to them or uh, something to consider is do we have a way to kind of escape so for us we have this bamboo that, that they can go in which should offer as a deterrent. But yeah, just wanted to, uh, to share that with you. Off the tractor supply we go. I feel like we'd want to hire like more than five feet. What do you think? I feel like five feet the chickens could potentially jump off. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
50 feet, 3 and a half by 11, that's 80. It's a lot better, but rabbits can for sure get through that. So if you ever tried to mold the purpose of that one, it worked well. We lost the children. <sighs> Can't they just let us talk about homesteading? Just kidding. They've been found. All right, so we are going to have to go with the netting just for cost sakes, and then we can kind of determine if the, we like this, uh, and if we do, if we need to s like invest into more high quality uh, material. So, are you happy with the netting? I'm. I'm worried it about it the breaking because it's the plastic; it's not fabric. Yep. So is it worth spending fifty some dollars to kind of test the? I want to test the market. That's not the right word. Uh, to see if we like the setup, or even if it works, or is it worth spending hundreds of more dollars? Well, I guess I would be curious to see if we could find fabric netting and what that cost would be. Okay. So for that, let me go to my phone, which I'm recording now, so I have to turn off the camera. So on Tractor Supplies website, I can get a. 50 feet by 72 inch fabric netting, but it's $120. So we need more than 50 feet. So we need to double that. So oh, that's a lot of money. Let's go check in with, see what the wife says about that. All right, here's my wife. So briefly looking on tractorsupply.com, we can get a 50 feet by 72 inches. So it's six foot, right? And it was 120. For the fabric? For fabric. So we need more than that, so we need to double that. So that would be $240 that we have to spend. Plus Arkansas taxes, which are quite high. Wait, how did you get $240? For $120. You have to times it by two. Thank you. So. And what was the roll of the, what, the metal? 289 So I guess if we. If we were gonna spend that kind of money on the fabric netting, I would go for the metal. Go for the metal one. Can we check in? Is that a dirty bird? <laughs> we might. We, we probably check Amazon. And see, maybe we'll add it to our Amazon influencer page or uh, storefront. Link in the description. What about um, you know, down here? Oh, down here. Yeah. We're gonna see if it could connect to these posts. Is it a size opening? No. Oh. I'm just having the camera on that. That's all the work. <laughs> Are those posts? Let's use what we've got, and then if we decide. Okay. And they have hooks too. Mm -hmm. The T post. Hooks. I do want to get it off. That's not a good thing. Hmm? Okay. I want to check pricing on this versus the other one. That one the one that's in the package. All right. We hey, found we get off or we made our decision. Always keep our prices. The one that comes in the bag is about half off. 